Ooh, we're recording. Okay. To be quite honest, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I probably should have thought this out better, but um, then I just would have been an anxious mess. But here we are. If you haven't seen me before, hi, my name is Ariana, and if you have, welcome back to my channel. This feels really weird to me, but also kind of natural. Setting looks a little different. If you didn't know, or if you haven't seen, graduated high school, I'm bending over, this is really awkward, currently in college, and today I'm going to be filming an apartment tour. This is something that I've wanted to film for literally ever. <laughs> that sounded so badly, but um, I've been wanting to film this since I started watching YouTube, and I didn't think this was something that I would be able to film for a really long time. So I feel really grateful. Although the pandemic sucks, it is the reason why I am living alone. And well, that's not, that sounds bad, but I, you know, I have the privilege of living alone and living in an apartment and a dorm for my first year. So it's very cool. We're gonna start at my front door over there. And I guess we're just, we're just gonna wing it. And no looking at the viewfinder. Let's, let's just pretend I haven't taken a like two year long break, but yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> like I said, starting at my front door. We have that there, cause I live alone. Anyways, moving this way. Let's start with the mirror. Yes, I am in sweats because it's pandemic time, but look how cute my sweatshirt is. It's from Lonely Ghost. It says it's cool, 2021, it's cool to care. Like the earth little has, has a little band-aid on it because we are slowly but surely destroying the earth, which is unfortunate. Also, I got a haircut. <laughs> He's had really long hair, went all the way down to my butt, but now it is shorter. And I have curtain bags, which I just trimmed, so they're shorter. Anyways, this mirror, um, not my feet. Pretend you don't see that. I don't like wearing socks in the house, but this mirror I got it from Target when I first moved in. It's like $5. I wanted to like a nicer one but yeah I didn't want to invest in that right now moving over here we have a pantry I really don't know how to film this feels really wrong um there's a pantry I have yeah this is my just entryway kind of just shove everything over there also my flip-flops are right there for emergencies but this is my pantry so in the top part we have medical COVID stuff up there. Laundry stuff over here. I don't really use it that often because I do my laundry at my grandparents' house because they do live here. It's very convenient for me. I get to visit them, do laundry. This is just like household things. Over here, I've had this forever and I still haven't emptied it out, but it's for tour. So, you know, saving the money for tour. Got a lighter for candles. An empty kombucha bottle that I was supposed to put a flower in and then I never did. Got some flashlights, a lamp. Grocery bags in here. Then we have the food area. It's very empty right now because I just came home. I was in my hometown for a week, but we have snacks, more stuff. I have just like the most random things. Like I have sugar back there, frosting. It's just like, you know, household things that you need to have, I guess. But yeah, there's a top cabinet. Try not to go, ooh, loud. Try not to go into too much detail because I have a lot to cover. Very excited to edit this video, honestly, though, because I haven't edited a YouTube video in a while. And then here is my, like, household supplies. Next to my pantry, I just have, oop, focus, my little, just, again, my just, like, walk-in area. So, I got this, um, as a little freebie from an artist, I think... Her at is at for sure artist Celeste. I'm gonna show you more of her prints behind my bed, but yeah, she gave me this as a little freebie. This is where I'm at, so I put it over here because I have my mask right here. Keys, wallet, just my bags that I rotate very often. And then moving this way, this is my kitchen. Starting over here, we have a microwave. It's very tall. I'm only like five, four, five, five. So I don't know why they put it here, but you know, it's fine. Here's the fridge. I have a bunch of Polaroids up here, and then little pictures of Harry from Watermelon Sugar. Another picture of Harry, because it looks like I know him, but I don't. Up here we have just the freezer, 
various foods in there. I just got some waffles, which I'm very excited about. And then down here is my fridge. Very empty, because again, like I said, I was out of town, so. Just have some leftovers, water, you know, food. These cabinets are closed, but this one, my filming is awful. <laughs> this one has, you know, cups, straws, bowls, water bottles, you know, all that shebang. Then over here we have the focus, the stove, the sink, and then there's my camera battery charger because I haven't filmed in a long time, but you know, drying rack. This is for my matcha. It's very cool. Thank you to my mom for getting me that. Paper towels. I was gonna get a paper towel holder, but now I'm about to move out, so not really that useful. There's nothing in these, but I have stuff in these. If I can pull it open, because these cabinets are so old that they never want to open. So in here, we just have various kitchen stuff. A bunch of soy sauce packets from when I get poke, but seasonings, can opener. These are what go around my mason jars, but I don't like them, so I put them there. And then down here, I don't have anything in the very bottom, but just in here, I just have pots, pans, rice, because I like rice, and then a rice cooker. Okay, and then um, let's just move over here. So I don't have anything in here either. It's just a lot of weird cabinets. If you look at the space, like if there was no furniture under here, you would just think, what do you do? So I brought my Alex 9 drawers, which was the worst thing ever, thanks to my dad for bringing them. On top of them, I have my Harry Hitmaker of the Year album. Scrunchy, my go-to jewelry usually sits in there. Over here we have my Fender guitar that I bought myself for Christmas. It's black. We have this here because um, there is no other lighting in this room besides that lamp over there. So I asked my dad to bring this and he kindly did. I have a Glossier scarf that my mom gave me on it. <laughs> Moving over here, this is my fit. I'm so glad my background looks like this for like just various things, but it's so, ah, I love it. This is the first thing, one of the first bigger things that I put up was all my disposable pictures from various things. I really like how even it looks. It's very satisfying to me. Over here, we have a print with words from the Dream With Me script. This was a trial print of a print I have in my shop, which I will probably link down below or put in the iCard if I remember how to do that. But this was the trial one. I didn't like it, so I just kept it for myself. and put it up there to fill the space. We got a candle. Usually this one isn't out, but when people come over, I like to have it smell sweet. But usually I have mahogany teakwood up here. This is like my coffee bar, coffee station, record player, my little ghost that my friend made me, for, my best friend made me for my birthday because I'm obsessed with Julie and the Phantoms. But moving on. Down here we have ukulele, which I know you should have stored it like that, but that was like $30 from Amazon when I was starting to play music and I wasn't sure if it was something I was really gonna wanna invest in. There used to be nothing there, but then I actually had, let's bend down, <laughs> textbooks this semester, so I got those. Usually that disposable would be there next to that Polaroid, but I filled it up, so I need to go get that developed. Um, we have the, let's move closer. We're not really strangers game in there. Haven't been able to play that with anybody new because of COVID, but it is a very cool game. Vinyls over there. Oh, if you were wondering what kind of vinyl that is, that's a Victrola, by the way. <laughs> My sister got me this for Christmas. Because again, like I said, I'm obsessed with Julian the Phantoms. Um, honestly, I would probably say that I'm a Reggie girl. <laughs> but I do like this one. Just, yeah, okay, anyways, moving on. Let's go this way. This is my dining table. Um, also, by the way, besides the Alex Nine drawers, which are over there, all the furniture in here is from the school, so including those chairs. I have a plant for my grandma. It's very minimal over here, but it's also a very small table, if you couldn't tell, so I like to keep it that way. Um, I guess let's just move into the bathroom. I wanna do the bed last, because it's my favorite, but yes. I finally have my own bathroom, which is really fun. This is what it looks like. So we got toilet down here. 
hand towels. Oh, up here is just bathroom storage. Oh, I kind of forgot we have the closets covered, but I don't like the word feminine products because it sounds kind of stupid, but period products because we don't care. I'm not gonna pull this down, but it just has like extra soaps, extra toothbrushes for like when people come over and stuff, deodorants, all that jazz. I have some gloves that I never used to like tone my hair with. Toilet paper, my old shampoo and conditioner, which I love this brand by the way. Good love Beauty and Planet. You can get it from Target, it's pretty cheap. Um, but I switched hair products because I colored my hair. Then moving over here, skincare. This is hair, but yeah. Um, my hairbrush is right there because I need to wash it, but soap. Um, I do have a shower, which, yeah, this is the shower, but um, since there's like nowhere to store my stuff and I bought this with the assumption that I was going to be living with other people or like in a shared area, I just have this with all of my hygiene stuff in it. Nothing in those two, but in this right here. This is also a fake drawer, which is really weird, but... I have trash and just like cleaning supplies. If you were wondering where the towels are from, I'm pretty sure they're just from Target. I don't know where the rugs are from. I think my mom might have gotten them from Kohl's, but yeah, I just have an all white bathroom because I know that these are things that I could take into my next living place if I do have an apartment, which I am, but like they're just very neutral. We're gonna do the closet. Um, because I can finally have a place to put my camera and also show things. So this is this whole entire wall is my closet. This is the main portion of my closet, I guess. Can you even really see? Let's move the camera back. Ooh. There we go. That's a little better. We can angle it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I know lighting's kind of whack. I just only have that one big window right there, but. This is my closet. We got pants. I've never done a closet tour, which is very interesting, but pants, everything is color coordinated. We've got shirts over here, also color coordinated. And then back here we have dresses. And then my big racer jacket, which I love very much. Up here we just have various things just to put them away. Okay, let's move to the middle of the closet. Moving on to the middle of the closet. This is just where my dresser is. Oh, by the way, uh, should I? Yeah. Oh, but I have my hamper and just a bunch of junk in boxes over there in my shoes. Just, I don't really think I need to show that again. But this is it. I only use three drawers. So this top drawer, I have sports bra, <laughs> jewelry, more jewelry, scrunchies, accessories in here. Loose socks that don't have a matching sock, but I just hope that one day they'll turn up. <laughs> jewelry, or jewelry, undies and socks. <laughs> okay, and then here, pants, more pants. These are just like jean shorts, things that I can't hang. Some athletic shorts, leggings, pajama pants, sweats. Bunch of yellow t-shirts because this is literally the uniform that I sleep in, but it's been cold in San Diego for the last how many months, so haven't really worn any of these things. Then up here I just have like just I don't know. There's a method to my madness, but those clothes just sit there. Then moving on to my desk area. I just have my flannel hanging here because I just like to throw it on sometimes if I'm cold. Printer down there. My laptop charger is out right now because I like to move around my apartment when I do work, but it, it varies. Just some junk, <laughs> notebooks, little pouch that has all my like wide out. It just has things that I need fast access to. So there's that little pencil holder, my everyday makeup, my little mirror, hey, my laptop, lamp. And then there's the star, my favorite piece of work I've ever done. The colors are a little bit weird because of the printer it came out of. But yeah, I have a note from my friend Sydney, and I'm so excited to see her soon. I should probably vlog the Oklahoma trip. We have this another picture of Harry. Harry is everywhere if you haven't noticed, but <laughs> uh, this picture is very personal to me because <laughs> I just like it one. 
And then two, it was the first thing I put up in my apartment because it felt sad and lonely in here. Business postcard, letter from my friend Jenica, and the final main attraction. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what's in this third part of the closet, cause it is covered by the desk, I just have a broom and a chair back there. Yeah. <laughs> The main attraction and my favorite part of my room, my bed, originally the bed was that way, but I really, I don't know, so obsessed with this like corner thing. It also makes the room feel more full and less like a box, you know, it gives a little bit of change in the directional flow. We got a Big Joe that's from Walmart. I don't feel like I have a lot of things that I could say where they're from. A lot of this stuff is just art and my own things, but like, I guess let's just move back over here. This is from Target. That is from, I think it's from Amazon. Oh, also I think that mirror's from Costco. Don't know if they sell it. Could possibly be still selling it, but anyways. Oh my God, I didn't talk about my freaking rug. Here's my grass rug, I got it from Amazon. Record holder is from Target. Okay, anything else that I'm missing? Before I move on, a lot of things are things that I know people won't be needing specifics because my kitchen stuff is all very generic. But okay, bed now. Look how cute. I'm so obsessed with it. So, my dad got me this beanbag from Walmart. Um, I just have a knit blanket in there. Here's my bed. First time I've ever had a twin size bed, but I sleep very well in it, just if you were wondering. <laughs> My mom gave me a, her weighted blanket because I have a lot of assignment anxiety. White sheets because I wanted to spruce up the top, but something that I know I could take for if I change my aesthetic. So we have plain white sheets and comforter, all that shipping. Then my dad just got me this. This is Luther. He's a shark. Squishmallow. And then my best friend made me this little shark. He's so cute. Um, that's Finn, the shark, and this is Luther, my first Squishmallow. I'm very happy about it. I have an outlet behind here, and this is just where I keep my ooh, focus school stuff. But here is my favorite part of my apartment. This is the last, oh my god, the lighting is awful. This is the last thing that I put together, but it makes me so happy. I've had this up for like literal months, this right here but I haven't filled up this side and now it's complete. Also, I have some vines hanging. I ordered these from Target like a long time ago, but let's talk about the art. Cause I'm just literally, could, I could not be more happy. So these two prints of Ariana and then Timmy are from the same um, person who did the wear mask print, mini print that I have by my door. Um, her at is at for sure artist, Celeste on Instagram. I just have like little tidbits, um, a lot of them from my friends who own small businesses, but Angelic Memoir, uh, Luna Linda Sticks, Shop Luna Linda, is that her Etsy? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, Made to be chic, um, which is from my friend Jenica. I have a Duncan um, receipt because I love Duncan so much. <laughs> Postcard from Kobe. Her shop is ever since by Kobe. And then a little business card from Kylie who runs Lovers and Lace. And then over here, this is the most recent edition. I've had that for a while, but this is the finishing because I'm about to move out. Spring Cherry Moon Coven postcard. Fortune from Disneyland. You are so chic, little freebie from Made to Be Chic. My print has a Grammy edition on it because I didn't want to get copyrighted but my print from my shop, watermelon sugar, great frog sticker, little flipped movie poster thing, tick, uh, ever since by Kobe, um, X Ticketmaster collab sticker, um, that little sticker that says your voice matters, let's see if we can zoom into it, is from Kenny Pie Co, another small shop friend of mine, a little Scorpio tidbit, even though I'm not a Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio moon from Plant Power. And then another one of my works, which as you have probably seen, my work is kind of everywhere. I'll be a lover poster that I also made for Charlie. This is like a one of a 
like a two of a kind thing. Only we have it. I don't, I don't sell that one, but it's very cute and I'm so obsessed with it. I love it so much. But yeah, this is my bed area. And I think that about concludes the apartment tour. Okay, so that concludes my apartment tour. Don't expect regular uploads from me. This is just something I really wanted to do. Very excited to edit this, but if I have any more video ideas, I will be making them. I just think, like I've said in the past, it's just important to let your creative spirit free and not force it to do things it doesn't want to do. Thank you to everyone who still supports me on various platforms. I love you so much. Thank you. I'm getting old. I literally turned 19 and that was the first time I hadn't vlogged my birthday in a while, which is very weird. That is literally it. Um, if you liked it, subscribe. I'm more active on my Instagram and TikTok and all those other social media. So if you want to just kind of keep up with me and if you've wonder been wondering where I've been, can follow me on all those things down below but other than that thank you so much for watching i love you make sure you put some love into the world love the planet love others love your soul that's it for me thank you so much for watching again i love you goodbye